G'day guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm here on this private property fishing for redfin. So today the plan is I'm gonna walk a lap around, maybe two, maybe three, it depends how this weather holds up. Because it is pretty overcast today, but at the same time I'm gonna have a rod here set up with bait. So I've got my worms out here with me. I'm gonna chuck on a set of bells. Hopefully while we're having a few flicks around, we might be able to get on while we're having a flick. But why not get right into it and see how we go. So, to start us off, I'm gonna get out one of my big scrub worms here, probably this fella here. It's pretty big, so let's hopefully it attracts some big fish. But uh, this rod's only running a single hook um, Paternoster rig, probably about a foot off the bottom. So we're just gonna rig him up here like this. So we'll just chuck that straight out there, like that. So this place is only about five foot deep. So let's ch chuck him in this holder here. Let's chuck some bells on and let him go. See how we go. So I just come over, I was just trying to do some B-roll shots. Just got a bite. Got him. Fish on. Fish on. There we go. Only little fella. Where is he? Must only be real small. Oh, look at that. First fish for the day. Nice, real small ready. Oh, he's basically swallowed that hook. So, I'm gonna have to get me pliers out and we'll, uh, try and safely get that out and get him back in the water. All right, so we got him out, but he wants to go so he can... Goodbye, my friend. All right, that's one red fin on the board. So we're on the board at least. So gonna chuck another worm on that and chuck, get, it, get it out and see how we go again. All right, so I think we're up to about here, our first lap. So flick him out there. A lot of structure over there, so I have to actually be careful not to, to uh, yeah, get stuck in that with this lure at least because this is a sinking lure. All right, so I'm about a quarter away around the uh, the dam now, and I haven't even caught a fish on the lure. I've heard the bells go off just before. So, I'm just, just hoping that the fish are gonna be on the go on the lures today. Maybe I'm just using the wrong lure for the water source, but uh, yeah. So, but this side's a lot shallower, so I might switch up to a different lure while I'm on this side, and then I'll, this one dives a fair bit, plus it is a sinking one, so I might swap over to the other one and while we're on this side and swap back when we get on the other side. All right, so I've now swapped over to the 60 mil 3.2 gram Daiwa floating minnow lure. So it's a Spangle Presso minnow lure. It's a uh, float, dives down to about three to four foot and has a little rattler inside. So I'm hoping that attracts them over. And, but uh, yeah, let's have a few flicks. It's pretty light, so it's gonna be a bit rough in this wind, but let's see, hopefully we can get ourselves a fish. Yep, fish on, fish on, oh! For a little fella, he's fine, all right. Oh, now, I can see the lure just under the surface when he hit. I'll see if. Come in, come here. Nice little red fin. There we go. Second red fin for the day. So, not the biggest, probably about as big as the first one. But hopefully, he comes back bigger and better and stronger. But it's two fish for the day. Only took me, what, half a lap. I'm gonna have another flick out over there. Cause that's towards where we're at. Oh, oh! I thought I was straight on then. It hit it like literally just after the second I hit the, the surface, I started retrieving. Oh, even though I almost bloody pulled the fish out of the water, but let's have another go. He might come back. Oh, that's probably. 
a little bit far away, but never know. You never know. Now nah, it looks like he's. Oh, there we go. Yep, he's there. Fish on. Oh, only another little fella. Oh, I love watching their little mohawks come up when they come through the water. Look at that. Wee, that's probably a bit dangerous to grab it like that. So, wow. Another little red, it's pretty much exactly the same size. So yeah, usually they're about, about this long usually, about 20 odd, so. Well, actually no, that would be about 20. Let's have a quick measure, uh, this one. Let's, oh, this side. Let's see, the tail there, about, oh yeah, about 22. So, yeah, we'll get him off, get him back in, and keep walking around. All right, let's see. Ready? Fish on. Hey! All right, got a good feeling about this spot. Oh, yep, fish on. That was quick. Literally just hit the water. Where is he? Oh, this one's about the same size. Oh, no, he's a little bit bigger. So... We'll see, about 25, I'd say. Quickly uh, get the pliers out. Get this hook out of his gob. About 24, 25, so I was pretty close. But he can go back in, so goodbye, my friend. See ya, Belle. All right. I'm gonna cast back out to that spot again because I felt him, I felt something hit like a couple of times, so there might be a few of them out there. So that was just over here somewhere. So we'll just go again. We'll see if we can get another one from that exact same spot. Because, like I said, I felt it hit a couple of times, so maybe there was more than one going for it. Doesn't seem so. Unfortunately, all right. It's just one in that spot. Oh, yep. Fish on again. Meow, that was, oh, that was only just there. All right. Are you even alive, pal? You didn't even kick. Oh no, please don't kick now. Oh, that's dangerous. I can feel that lure sitting right against my finger. All right, get the pliers out for this little fella. All right, another little red fin. I do love their little mohawks, how cool is that? So he's probably about 20, 22, 23 maybe. So, yeet. See you little fan. All right. So this usually is my favorite spot, my go-to usually, but this spot here is just it's a bit quiet today. Hello. Will you let me pay you? Oh, don't eat my hand. I don't have enough in the feed ya. Hello, little fella. What a lovely little fella. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, this one's better. This one's better. No, it's not. Oh, it's a little bit better. No, it's not. <laughs> it's just putting up a good fight. Oh, actually, yeah, this one's probably our biggest one for the day. So, well, you could nearly get a fillet out of him, too. Might give him a quick measure. I mean, obviously, he's nothing fancy, but... So... If I can hold that there somehow... Like so. So he's probably what, 26? Oh, that's not bad. You could nearly get a fillet off him. But today, catch and, uh, catch and release, so. So my plan was to try and catch one more fish we've done, before we've done one full lap. And uh, that over there, back over where that rod is there, that was gonna be a full lap, so. Mission successful. But, just gonna have a couple more casts 
reel that rod in and then I think from then on we'll call it a day. So I've done one full lap. Now the goal was to do four or five laps but the wind started to pick up and it's starting to spit. So I'm going to pack my gear up. Now this rod's gone real slack but it doesn't look like there's a fish on the end of it because I haven't seen it moving around. So I'm guessing the bait is just gone. But had a good run, so the chance, uh, the goal was to do four or five laps and change a lure per run. But this Daiwa 60 mil, uh, 3.2 gram Spangle Presso Minnow lure, um, it just seems to be dynamite for redfin. No matter where I go, redfin love it. So make sure you go to BCF and get yourself one of them. But uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that thumbs up and if you're not already become a subscriber follow me on my socials but for now i'm signing out and i'll see you guys in the next one peace